Hi everyone, I'm Liz Kohler Brown. I'm an artist, designer, and teacher. And today I wanna to show you how to get your GIF animations onto Instagram so people can tap to create a new story, choose an image or a video, and then tap stickers and find your stickers here. So here are my stickers as an example. I've used Liz Kohler Brown as one of the tags so people can find it using my name, but then there are a lot of other tags associated with these images. So I'll show you how I created these and talk a little bit about which ones have done well and which ones have not been quite as popular. Surprisingly, some of the most simple ones have been really popular like this heart. It just expands and then flashes at the end. This had 50 million views in the first couple of days. So you don't have to spend a ton of time on these. You just have to make something that a lot of different people could use for their stories. So let's start this process by looking at how I created these animations. So I made a lot of gifts out of some ornament illustrations that I created. And if you're curious how I created these, I used the process in my winter illustration class. And I have a lot of different classes on iPad art and design processes. So if you need a little help getting started with your illustrations, check out my classes. You can watch those for free on Skillshare with a free trial, which you can pick up on my website. I create all of my GIFs in Procreate because it's just so easy to do this using Procreate. And so let's take a look at a really simple animation. So this is just an ornament that moves back and forth on the page. So all I've done for each layer is shift the position a little bit. So if I make each layer visible, you can see they're just moving back and forth. So for example, if I started with this piece that's in the very middle, I would duplicate that layer, tap the Move tool, use this little green dot at the top with magnetics off to just shift it a tiny bit and get that into place. And so that's my second layer. Then I can duplicate that layer tap the move tool, shift it a little, and move it over again. So each layer is a new frame of your animation, and then you can just go to Animation Assist and tap the play button to see exactly what it looks like. Then we have a lot of settings here. We could make it go faster, slower, we could change the type of animation. So you can play around with a lot of these options, but there are some really simple gifts that you can do as well. It doesn't have to move so much. Here's the growing heart that I showed you that was really popular in the first couple of days. Each layer is just a slightly larger heart. And then after all of the larger hearts, I created layers with little white marks, and then I just redrew the white marks each time, so it creates a kind of a wiggling effect. Another really simple type of animation is additive animation. So I had this quote that says, you're killing it, and I created each word on a different layer. So the first part of the animation just says your, then the second layer says you're killing, and the third layer says you're killing it. And then I just have a couple more frames with that same three word message so that it holds the message for just a second. Makes it a little bit easier for people to read if you leave a few frames with the whole phrase so that it kind of holds on the whole phrase. Another really simple effect that you can do is to push or pull something so it becomes a new shape. Here's a flag, for example, that wiggles in the animation. And all we do for that is duplicate the flag after you draw it, tap the adjustments tool, tap liquify, 
And then I like to play around with the size here. It may take a few tries to get the size that you want. So I've got everything invisible except for this flag, liquify, and just get the brush that makes a nice little wave. Then I can duplicate that layer and repeat the same process so that each time you see this layer, it's moving just a little bit. So you can see what that animation looks like. So you can certainly get way more complicated with these, but I've actually found that the most simple GIFs have done the best. I'll show you here my dashboard that shows the popularity of a GIF. So this very first heart had 56 million views so far. And then also specialty gifts that are like holiday related. There aren't very many of those. So if you make one of those, you're probably going to get a lot of views anyway. Really simple things that anyone could use. You could see a lot of different people being able to use this GIF to point to a variety of different things in their stories. I found that GIFs that are really complicated don't do as well because they really distract from the person's story. So you don't want to take so much emphasis away from their story that it feels like your GIF is competition. So after you create some GIFs that you're really proud of, you can go ahead and create an account on Giphy.com and upload your GIFs there. So once you create an account, you'll see the upload button. Upload a GIF, photo library, and then you just choose your GIF from the photos. And if you're not sure how to export GIFs from Procreate, it's really simple. You just tap the share button, animated GIF, play around with the frames. And I just use the default settings here. I don't mess with that. And then tap export and save. So then it'll be on your camera roll. So once you've got your GIF on Giphy, you have to add a source. So I always just put my website here. For tags, you want to have something that identifies this as your GIF so you can tell your followers, hey, go search this specific term. And you wouldn't want to use something like ornaments because then there are going to be a lot of other ornaments for people to look through. So I always just put my full name as one of the tags. And then you want to use a lot of different tags relating to this item. So for this, I might say ornaments, ornament, holiday decorations, Christmas decorations. So you could probably think of 10 or 15 things. You don't want to use irrelevant tags because Giphy is going to look at your GIFs and your tags before they approve you. So if you put some tags that don't really relate well to this, they're probably not going to approve you. So try not to be spammy with your tags. You wouldn't want to put something like cool or awesome. That wouldn't really work with this particular item. Next you have to choose a rating. So there's nothing graphic about this. So I'll just type G and then upload to Giphy. So I've already uploaded this, so I'm not going to type that again. So next, once you get all of your GIFs uploaded, you can make sure your profile looks nice. So you want to upload an avatar, which often is just a GIF. And if you tap go to channel, you want to think about the people at Giphy going on to your account and looking through here. It should look cohesive and fun and you should have GIFs that almost anyone could use. So you wouldn't want to have something very obscure or messy or anything that makes your work look unprofessional. So once you're happy with how your profile looks, you can go to the artist channel application page and I'll put a link to this on the blog post. 
So the first step will be to read this application. It's really short. They have a few helpful suggestions for getting started. And so in addition to making your Giphy profile look professional, you also want to make sure your Instagram profile looks professional. So if Giphy goes to your Instagram and it looks like you're just a random person, you're not an artist or designer, they're probably not going to approve it. They don't actually say exactly what they're looking for, but it's probably a professional artist or designer feel on both of your accounts, Giphy and Instagram. So you only get to apply once. So before you actually do the application, I would really take some time to make sure your Instagram looks professional, your Giphy looks professional, and it may take you a few months to do that. So don't rush it because once you apply, you can't apply again. That's your last chance. So take your time here and you could leave your Instagram page on the YouTube comments here if you'd like everyone to give some suggestions about how you could make your profile look more professional. So once you submit your application, you just have to wait. And if you get approved, then all of your gifts will show up on Instagram search within a few days. And then you can add new gifts whenever you want and those will also show up. So then you can announce that to your followers, say, hey, I made a few new stickers and you can use those in your stories. So you don't actually get paid for this. You don't get your name mentioned when someone uses your GIF. So it's really just a fun way to engage with your audience and share your work with the world. If you like this tutorial, you may like some of my other classes where I share a ton of different ways to draw and paint on your iPad, like how to create folk art style designs, how to create seamless repeat patterns with a live pattern preview, and how to design and create an illustration series. So check those out on my website if you want to see more. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions about this process, just leave a comment or send me a message. And if you create some gifts, I would love to see those. If you share them on Instagram, please tag me so I can check out your work. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.